Hello, are you struggling with setting up taxes on your WooCommerce store? Don't worry no more because in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your WooCommerce taxes for different countries. So of course you're going to learn how to set up sales tax for United States, for different states of course. I will show you how you can set up GCA, that's tax primarily for Canada, Australia and of course I'm going to show you how you can set up VAT, that's the tax for European countries and some other countries as well and on top of that in this video I'm going to show you how you can add different rates for different products. All right, enough wasting your time, let's jump into it. So the first step when setting up your WooCommerce taxes, you have to activate them first. So let's go to WooCommerce, let's choose settings and right here in general tab, let's scroll down and let's select enable tax rates. All right, let's hit save changes. And as you can see, now we have a completely new tab that says tax. So let's click on this tab and right here we can do adjustments to our taxes. So make sure that you have the same settings as I have them right here. That's just the common practice and uh, this is how usually everyone set up and activate taxes. So select right here that no I will enter prices exclusive of tax. So let's say when you're gonna add a product, you won't gonna include in this product tax yourself because uh, once a customer adds this product to their cart and they go to the cart, they will see the taxable amount for that particular product. So you don't need to add tax, you don't need to include tax in the price of your product manually yourself. So taxes will be calculated according to customer's shipping address. So once the customer enters his address, he will be taxed according to his address. Shipping also is going to be taxed based on cart items. So that's good. You can set it just like that and you can choose around tax at subtotal level. It's up to you. I usually like to activate this option and additional tax classes. So you can add additional tax classes. By default, you will have a reduced rate. So for reduced products, for example, right here in Lithuania, where I am from European Union, I have reduced rates for books. I have a standard VAT tax that is 21% and I have reduced rate for books that is 9% tax. And if you are in the same situation where you have reduced or zero rate taxes for specific products, you will be able to enter them right here. And I will show you how that's done. And right here, select display prices in the shop, excluding tax that's just gonna look much better and all the customers will see the amount of tax once they enter their address and all that and right here display prices during cart and checkout excluding tax again we can select this one just like that and just a moment right here if i would select including tax as you can see we get this error message so instead of choosing include tax let's select excluding tax and right here you don't need to add or if you would add you could say including VAT, including sales tax or something like that. This line would be shown next to your product. I usually like to keep it just like that. All right, so everything is good right here and now we can add a standard rate for our products. No, oh, just a second. Let's stay on this page and let's make sure that we have saved all the changes. So let's hit save changes. And just make sure that you have the same settings right here. All right, let's go to standard rates. So right here, it depends where you are doing business. So for example, let's say I'm selling my products in EU and the, the country where I'm paying sales tax is Lithuania. If I'm selling to all Europe my products, if I'm shipping products to all Europe, of course, I want to include every country separately with their separate VAT tax rate because VAT tax rate is not the same in every single country of European Union. So you have to check those numbers yourself. But if in your case you are doing business, you are just shipping products in United States, 
then you only want to add sales tax instead of VAT. So in United States, you have sales tax and you pay sales tax according to the state. And of course, we have GST tax. That's primarily for Canada, Australia and some other countries too. So right here, I'm just going to add a standard tax rate that's going to be for Lithuanian audience for Lithuanian customers. So I'm going to click right here, insert row right here in country code. I'm going to type LT that stands for Lithuania right here. I don't need to add any state code because there are no states. I don't need to add postcode because VAT tax is going to be the same for every city, no matter what city my customer is from. Rate is going to be 21%. So I'm going to type that right here and tax name is going to be VAT. All right, so right here, we don't need to change anything. We don't need to select compound because if we would select compound, we could apply multiple taxes for the same product, but um, usually you don't need to do that. You can leave it just like that and you can also include VAT tax or any other tax for shipping as well. All right, so let's click save changes. And now, as you can see, I added VAT tax. So if I'm selling products only for people who are in Lithuania, I'm good to go. I don't need to add any more rates, any more countries. But if let's say if I'm selling to other countries that are in Europe, I could add other countries too with their rate as well. So this one is going to be up to you. All right, so I'm just going to show you an example. So let's say right here, our rate is 21%. Now we can go to our store. I'm going to click visit site. And I'm going to add this book right here to my cart just to show you how everything works. Now let's click view cart. Now let's change shipping address. So I'm going to choose Lithuania. And I'm going to click update. All right. And as you can see, we get VAT tax. As you can see, VAT is going to be $20, over $20. So as you can see, tax is calculated automatically according to the shipping country, shipping location. So for example, we could go back and let's say I have reduced rates for books. As you saw it yourself, right here, I have puzzle book for kids. And right here I can set up reduce rate tax. So I'm going to click insert row. And once again, I'm going to select country LT and don't need to add anything right here. And the rate is going to be 9%. That's just the reduced rate for books. All right, I'm going to hit save changes. And now if I would refresh this one right here, nothing would change. All right, as you can see, everything stays the same. It's because I have to apply this particular reduced sales tax for a specific product, not sales tax, I meant VAT for a specific product. So once you have your product that has reduced rate, you can click edit product. And right here in general tab, just a second, just a second. As you can see, tax status, it's taxable and tax class, we can select reduced rate. So this time it would have a reduced rate for this particular product. Let's say books, they have a reduced rate tax. So it's going to be 9% instead of 21. Now let's click update and you should see that now we're going to have a lower tax than we had previously. All right, now we can close this one and we can refresh it just a second all right we have to change shipping once again lithuania and as you can see it's reduced but it says tax it's because i forgot to type tax name vat all right just like that let's click save changes it's the same vat but it's reduced all right if i'm gonna refresh as you can see we have lower VAT than we had previously. Previously we had 20 uh, something 55 and now we have 1875. So that's how reduced and standard rates work. And of course, if you have products that come with zero rates, this is where you can set up zero rates as well. So this one is up to you. So, okay, now you know how to set up standard rates. And as you saw it yourself, everything's quite simple. And uh, for example, if you are in Canada, all right, in Canada, we have GST taxes. All right, so 
let's look for Canada. All right, this is Canada. And instead of VAT, we have GST in Canada. All right, and GST in Canada is 5%. All right, so let's click Save Changes. And reduce rates, let's not add any reduce rates. I just wanted to show you how that works. I just wanted to give you an example how reduce rates work. And now we can select this row and we can remove this reduced rate. And as you can see, we have standard rates. All right, let's go back. So it's 5%. So now we can go back to our shopping cart and let's refresh this page. And as you can see, we don't have any taxes anymore. That's because we have country set Lithuania. So now instead of Lithuania, let's say we are going to ship those products to Canada. Just a second, Canada. Let's click update. And as you can see, we have GST, that's 5% and it's only 414. So that's how you can add GST tax to your WooCommerce store. All right, if you are going to add sales tax that's uh, different for every state, then you will need to go right here and let's say, let's add US as a country code. All right, United States and state code. So. Every state has a different tax rate and uh, every state has economic nexus. It has thresholds. So what is nexus economical threshold? To put it simply, it's the sales threshold. For example, once you reach, let's say, $100,000 of sales in a specific state, it could be, let's say, California. And once you reach this number of $100,000, of sales during one calendar year, then you have to register in California to pay this sales tax. And for different uh, states, there's a different um, Nexus economical threshold. I'm gonna include uh, a link in description with all information about uh, those thresholds. And of course, there are some states where you don't need to pay this sales tax. Those uh, states belong to Nomad List. And uh, once again, I will include uh, this information in description of this video and in any case when you are just starting with your online store I truly doubt that you're gonna hit this economical nexus economical threshold within your first year or second year because let's say to make over $100,000 of sales uh, during the first year of your online store's existence, it's kind of difficult task. And of course, that's just for one state. Uh, of course, uh, all states have different requirements, different thresholds, and you're gonna learn all about that in the link of this video description. So like I said, I will include this link in the description of this video so you can explore everything yourself. And if your online store is fresh, it's new, you probably don't need to worry that much about sales tax in the US. You just have to keep an eye on how many sales you made in each state, not to go over the threshold that year and uh, you won't gonna need to register as a taxpayer in that state. All right, so let's take a state let's say let's take main state that is right here and as you can see the sales tax is 5.5 percent so for example we could go right here and main state code is mn and right here rate it's 5.5 percent and let's type sales tax all right so let's say in this example, you went over the threshold, uh, Nexus economical threshold in Maine, and now you're gonna need to pay 5.5% of tax. So let's hit save changes. Let's go to our card page. Let's refresh this page. And now let's change the address. So let's use United States and let's select Maine. All right, main, and let's click update. Oh, sorry, main is not MN. Minnesota is MN, main is ME. So instead of choosing ME, let's say I'm gonna choose Minnesota. All right, and let's click update. All right, so as you can see, we have sales tax that is gonna be 456. All right, I added main but right here if we would go back we could check 
what is sales tax in Minnesota? All right, let's check it. So it's 6.88. So I would have to change it right here. And once again, if you hit those thresholds of Nexus, then you need to pay those taxes in each state and you have to add each state one by one right here. If you are doing business only in Europe or let's say only in Canada, then you will need to pay GST tax and of course you should know what's your situation and how much of a tax you should pay but I just wanted to show you how that works and I believe now everything should be much easier to understand so as you saw it yourself right here in the main settings just make sure that you have the same adjustments just like I have right here and we have standard rates, just standard rates for standard products that have standard rates. We have reduced rates for various different types of products and you have zero rates for various other types of products. So this is it for this video. Now you should know how to set up your taxes. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something useful and I hope now you know how WooCommerce taxes work, how you can activate and how you can set them up. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because in the future I'm planning to add much more content related to WooCommerce and WordPress so you don't want to miss that out. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.